Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Greg McCloskey from ForexLive.com. This is a Forex quick look. I'm going to take a look at the dollar versus Swiss. So let's get started. We're looking at the four hour chart in this uh, currency pair. And we are seeing a rotation to the downside and trading to new lows for the new trading week. Yesterday, we saw the price move higher on the holiday holiday uh, week in the U.S. Uh, from President's Day holiday. But the uh, price uh, did find resistant sellers ahead of the uh, 200 uh, day moving average. That's this green line in the chart. At 0 0.8844, we're seeing a rotation to the downside. And now we're breaking below the 100-day moving average. That's the blue line in this chart. That level comes in at 0 0.8794. Just below that is a 50% retracement of the move uh, down from this high going back to the month of October to the low price that we saw in the month of December, the 50% retracement. And 100-day moving average between 0 0.8780 and 0 0.8794. It's going to be a uh, key, key uh, support. Now, uh, we're currently trading in the dollar versus uh, Swiss at 0 0.8798. So uh, we are uh, just above the 100-day uh, moving average after dipping below that level and holding support against the 50% retracement level. So buyers are trying to make a play uh, against the uh, key dual support level. Again, that 50% midpoint comes in at 0 0.8785. Move below that level, and it opens up the door, door for further downside momentum. With the uh, 100 bar moving average on the four hour chart at 0 0.8729 as the next major target. The level also corresponds with uh, swing levels going back to, well, probably around here, uh, where the price uh, had some different uh, swing lows and swing highs. Uh, lows right through here, broke below that level, used the level uh, as a resistance uh, before moving to the downside right here. Uh, and then returning to the level here, uh, it wasn't uh, until a couple weeks ago where the price started to move back above that level and use that level as support before moving to the upside in July because we're trading. So that's going to be a key level, uh, not only with the 100 bar moving average, but also the swing level at that level. Right now, we are seeing support buyers uh, lean against the 50% in the 100-day moving average. On the top side, it would take a move above the 200-day moving average. That's a green line in this chart, 0 0.8844, to increase the bullish bias from a technical perspective. So uh, uh, buyers on the dip in the dollar versus Swiss. We'll see if they can take the price higher. My name is Greg McCloskey. Good fortune with your trading. Bye-bye now.